It's raining. Oh, thank God we didn't wear them because she was covered. Oh, my God. So, she said, Have I got a little story for you? What you thought was your daddy was nothing but while we were sitting home alone at a certain time. My real daddy was dying. So you didn't see him. But I'm glad we're talking. Uh, oh, I'm still alive. Try to center you guys a little bit so you're not at an angle, which is difficult because boobs. Okay, I think the beach is straight down this road. Now, the subway obviously dropped me off right at the end of the road from the beach, but I went for an explore. And so now I have no idea where I'm at. Because if I get one straight off track, I'm lost forever. I'll be calling a rescue for me in the middle of a busy city because I'm lost. Like I'm in a mountain or something. And yet, I never get lost in the mountains. I'm just at home in the wild. I'm only awkward in a city around people. Get out of the sun, which I did not expect to be a problem because it was supposed to rain all day. Oh shit, I just crossed over and realized that I missed a big tree over there. I'll come back and look at it before I leave. Look at the red shoes. I need a new pair of shoes. Hopefully for my birthday. Well, I was up all night, I wonder what to do. I'm thinking that I want to just forget about you, but it's a little too late. 
Well, it's a little too late. When you walked in, I should have walked out, but it's a little too late to do the right thing. It's called West Street. You done told me you're a heartbreaking, and I ought to pay attention when they say those no things, but it's a little too late. Well, it's a little too late. I know all my own buddies want to help me out, but it's a little too late to do the right thing now. Turn the jukebox up, pour some sawdust down. It's too far gone to turn this heart around. Maybe long, but I don't want out. It's a little too late to do the right thing now. Wait, wait. Fine. It got aggressive on that second one, didn't it? Wait. I didn't even push it that time. Wait. I didn't even push it, it's just yelling at me now. Wait. 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 I think it wants us to wait. He's been yelling for half a block. When it hits one, we're all going to explode. Leaning up the chat a little bit. Indeed. Goodbye.
for 86,000 seconds. said I wasn't commenting on it and I'm not commenting on it no matter how many people attacked me about it. It was 15 years ago. A black fly in your short name. It's a death row part of you. Too much, too late. Isn't it ironic? Don't you think? Staring down the barrel of a gun, son of a gun. It's a big step, Lord. Or I got some short legs. I done fucked my legs up yesterday. I don't want to fall again. Haha! -ha. Survived it. Nothing wrong with getting a good head start. Shut up the night, you got to shut down the sun. You want to shut away the pieces of the broken heart. Think that I will live it together. 
We'll be listening to the radio so loud and so strong. Every golden nugget coming like a gift from the gods. Someone must have blessed us when they gave us those songs. I treasure your love. I never want to lose it. You've been through the fires of hell. And I know you got the ashes to prove it. I'm not bragging about anything. I said I wasn't commenting. That's not bragging. It's literally not commenting. As much as y'all want to say I'm bragging about something when I said that I'm not commenting. Those are two separate things. One is bragging and the other is not commenting. Father, there's nothing anybody can do. There's always something magic. There's always something new. And when you really, really need it the most, that's when rock and roll dreams come through. The beat is yours forever. The beat is always true. And when you really, really need it the most, that's when rock and roll dreams come through for you. Last time we came out, I came up across that big bridge there. But because I went for a little wander around today, we came from a different direction. Okay, there, every time I come out here, there's so many people crowding up on that bridge, though. And it's not like they're stopping. They can, they're they constantly moving tons of people. There's just so many people. Dogs I'm fine with. I treasure your love. I never want to lose it. You've been through the fires of hell, and I know you got the ashes to prove it. I treasure your love. I want to show you how to use it. Hold on. I gotta turn the camera around. I don't know how it got turned. Sorry. That's true. You're never alone, cause you can put on the phone and set the drama, show you all what to do. There's always something magic. There's always something new. So the problem is when I put the phone in my uh, pocket, Sometimes buttons get hit, and I don't know how long it was trying to face the other direction. I know not the whole time. Now I'm carrying it because I'm trying to keep it from staring directly into the sun. Like I'm perfect with it. Because it's fucking blinding me. That's when rock and roll dreams come through. We got a little mini river here from the rain. Like that's food, bird. It's like a piece of cotton, a hair tie. Okay. 
give you countless amounts of a wide acceptance of your moment. I hate walking in sand. I don't think I should have because I want to actually be up on the pier. Tears and breakouts in the whole Nothing for caring the way that I am. Be thanks for receiving it. My privilege, and you owe me nothing in return. You can rise for free for yourself, and only yourself, and you'll hold it. Bubble shrimp, gup. Bubble gup shrimp here. Probably slash Drasdia. I bet you're wondering how far you have knelt and said your way back into debt. This is the only kind of love as I understand it. That there really is. That oh, shit. I dropped my good phone. It's all sandy. Trying to get back to view my own live stream is very difficult. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I, do, I like pineapple on pizza. If I didn't have you, someone else would do. Your love is one in a million. You couldn't buy it at any price. Thank you. 
I really don't want to walk the other way because it's right in the sun, but that's where everything's at. <laughs> want to do every day. Number one, if you say you're a follower of Jesus Christ, read your Bible every day. Yes, read the same story over and over and over again until you know nothing else. And then life will be perfect. Classic brainwashing. Read it over and over again until it's all you know. And if it's not all you know, you need to read it again. Anyways, I came to see the waves. the greatest story. Exactly that, a story.
Oh, uh, these are the guys that have the show that never start. I'm not even going to try to get around them. They'll stand there for 10 minutes saying show starts in 30 seconds and then never start the show. What they mean is the show starts when we get enough money. But until then, they're going to clog up the alleyway so nobody can move. Just shove things at you. If anybody is new and confused about what the chat is talking about, they're attempting to push me to kill myself for something that happened 15 years ago when I was unmedicated for my schizoaffective disorder that my family was denying I had because they didn't want to accept the mental health issues that they didn't acknowledge for so long. Somebody died. I have few memories of it, and there's a book that is to end my life because of it, even though I am now medicated and in therapy and away from the abusive people who push me to believe that if I just found a man to take care of me, it wouldn't matter if I was well, I wouldn't need to get help because all I needed was a man with money. 
But in reality, what I need was antipsychotics, which I'm old now and doing better. Besides the days when these groups come after me and try to push me to end my life for the things that happened when I was not on antipsychotics. That's all I'm saying about it. Over that because that's they think it'll be funny they, they think it'll be funny to see me kill myself because of something that happened when I was unmedicated 15 years ago that's what Adonis Paul and original owl and these channels that's what they want they want for me to kill myself They say they want justice, but the, what they mean by we want justice is that they want me dead. Justice would be me being dead. So when they say that they want justice for this crime that I didn't commit, what they mean is that they want me dead. They just have to code it so that the authorities don't see that they've been telling me to kill myself for three years because if I did it, that would be a problem. As long as I don't kill myself, they're free and clear. But just in case, they use coded language so that if there's ever any investigation, it's just justice they're trying to get, not hurting somebody else. They're not wanting me to kill myself, even though they email me thousands of times telling me to kill myself. They'll continue making excuses for why what they're saying is okay. They'll continue making excuses for why going after mentally ill people is okay. That's just what they are, excuses. They go after people weaker than they are. In my case, it's mentally weaker. That's why they're targeting me. If they truly cared about getting justice for Roberta Laws, they would not have spent three years marketing her as a potato because of her disability. That's a clear sign that it's not justice for the victim that they're looking for. Because justice for the victims means respect for the victim. And they have absolutely no respect for this victim, who they have many t-shirts portraying as a potato. Because she had screwed up palsy. And because she was buried in a backyard. That's disrespectful. And it proves that they're not looking for justice. They're looking to hurt me, specifically. While, it, while denying that they go after people who have mental health issues. While denying my mental health issues, they've undiagnosed me already. You know, they tell people that I'm not medicated and that uh, I'm not even in therapy or anything. And I am, I take Latuda, which is an antipsychotic. And they just recently upped the dose because you guys were forcing things into my head. Which is why I'm doing better, because they've upped the dose. But of course they're going to make excuses. They know you're doing better because you're scared that we're going to find out, and so you're pretending. They changed my medication. A lot, a lot. Changing the medication of a schizophrenic person does a lot. It's a lot more than people think it does. That's why I was groggy and out of it for a full week after it happened. Back in 2009, I wasn't even medicated. I was diagnosed, but my family didn't want to accept the diagnosis. When you ignore mental illnesses, you bring on a lot of future trauma and pain that could have been avoided by just acknowledging a mental health disorder. I was having blackouts in high school and nobody did anything to help me. 
when I was married, the blackouts would last for weeks. And still, nobody was helping me because it was easier to ignore it. And when you have blackouts, you don't know what's happening during that. It's like, it's like being drunk, except you're not. And it doesn't just go away when you sober up. Sometimes it lasts for days, for weeks. I think I was out for a full month once. And I have absolutely no idea what I do when I'm blacked out. And I'll, I'll probably never know. I know what people tell me. Since I started my medication, I haven't had a blackout. It's been a long time since I've had a blackout, actually. I'm not even sure how long. It happened a couple times in the beginning of getting to Section 8 because I was being attacked. And when my mental health is under attack, that's going to cause things to happen. But recently, I've been able to maintain. But there, there are groups that are trying to stop that. They don't like me maintaining my mental health. They like me where they can break me down so that they can earn money off of hurting me. It's a predatory group. But nobody wants to believe me when I say that because I'm crazy. So I obviously don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe some part of me did, but the part that you're speaking to today did not do those things. And I say maybe because I don't know what I did when I was blacked out. Actually, they just raised it. It was $28 for the first year. And then it was um, $33 for the second year. And now they've raised it again to, I believe I'm supposed to pay $80. $80. I got the letter in the mail uh, a couple weeks ago. I haven't given a full look over. They've literally never asked me for it, though. I It's... I can't say it's my problem entirely when the landlord has never spoken to me about it, never asked me about it. I know I'm supposed to be paying the $23 a month, but they've never asked. If they would ask, I would probably try to figure a way to get it up, but... <laughs> they don't give a shit. They get a thousand or something from the government, so they don't care about the 23 from me. For now, I'm assuming one day it'll come, but we've changed landlords and they still didn't care. There's a new guy living there now. <laughs>
go ahead and make that a good three. Bye. Jump, it's like there's nothing. I will... Yeah, you and about 10 other people that call and report me every couple of months. People have reported me for my Section 8. They reported uh, false funds that I've received to the government. They were, this is everything that you're threatening to do has already been done. It just doesn't change anything because I showed them the proper paperwork to clear up the lies. So. <sighs> They're aware that there are people out there that will lie to hurt somebody who is in need. So they do allow me to defend myself when you put out those lies about me. Unlike the channels that are attacking me, the government gives me the chance to prove what I'm saying. These channels that attack me, they say what they're going to say and that's all it's going to be and it doesn't matter. If anybody wants to help me get a pizza tonight, PayPal me slash Drastia. Let these channels get mad at me for all they want. Go ahead, Stan. I'm too fat. I do have an OnlyFans, but I don't post to it because um, somebody threatened to take my content and share it on their channel. So there would be no point in me exposing myself that way. Squirrel. It's a little baby. for a sandwich, I would also need a donation to the PayPal. More evil stairs. Raining tomorrow, I'll uh, take y'all to Hollywood Boulevard. We'll walk up the Walk of Fame. Tomorrow's New Year's Eve, right? Adrian! Yo, I've been working my legs like hell this year. I have been climbing these fucking mountains. 
it's not my body that's the problem, it's my mind. I've never said I was physically disabled. I'm just extremely mentally unwell and unstable and volatile. But it's fine as long as I'm alone most of the time. how volatile any schizophrenic is. Go out to Skid Row and see how volatile the schizophrenics are and then tell me that I'm doing a bad job of maintaining myself. There's a big difference between a medicated schizophrenic and an unmedicated schizophrenic and y'all are constantly judging me for the unmedicated parts when I'm a completely different person, when I'm medicated properly. Unmedicated, pro medicated unproperly makes me much worse. But they have it set up now so that as long as I'm not under extreme stress, I'm fine. The problem is people like causing extreme stress because it's funny. Why is this part of the beach empty? What's wrong with this part of the beach? All oh, the boys and girls Joy to the fishes in the deep blue sea Joy to you and me Joy to the world All oh, the boys and girls Joy to the fishes in the deep blue sea, and joy to you and me. Me and my friend in school used to sing a different version of this song. Getting high in the world with all its boys and girls. Getting stung till we can't even see. Won't you get high with me? Sunglasses stuck in my hair. <laughs> this looks like a plaque, but there's nothing on it. Did somebody steal the plaque? Out here, I wouldn't put it past them. They stole the copper wire for the lighting on the 6th Street Bridge. We can't have lights now. The bridge is literally called the Ribbon of Lights, and now there's no lights pissed me off because I go to that bridge near every night. I love sitting out there looking at the the uh, lights of the city as they come on just as the sun's going down. I saw those videos from Ventura yesterday and I expected a bit more wave action. I, mean, I know Ventura is 100 miles from here, but still. 100 miles ain't that far when you gauge 
how big an earth is. Pretty sure everything I say is stupid. If I intentionally say something you probably not I apologize. I guess. Let's walk out there. Hit the pop on the disco. No one will come because they won't allow gays there. And who stopped the dancing? Who stopped the dancing? Hit the pop on the disco. Oh, oh, oh. Hit the pop on the disco. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah. Who's got the dancing? Sorry, couldn't mention it's in my earphones. <laughs> this is the end of the Pope song. Well, one of his renditions of the end of the Pope song has the Pope disco. I hate walking in sand. I'm trying to say the car twice, but it ain't no And things seem hard or tough. People are stupid, obnoxious, and daft. And you feel that you've had quite enough. Remember that you're standing on a planet that's going and revolving at 900 miles an hour. It's orbiting at 90 miles a second, so it's reckoning the sun that is the source of all our power. The sun and you and me and all the stars we can see are moving at a million miles a day. And now just far along at 2,000 miles an hour. See, we go. Oh, sorry, I can't breathe walking in sand. Galaxy is so much contained by a billion stars. Miles and miles of light years away. It's in the middle, 60,000 light years thick, but our bias is just a few thousand light years wide. There's a lot of cheers from galactic central planets. We go around every 200 million years. And our galaxy is only one of millions of billions. Okay, so look how far. You can see the dry spot there starting. Because all that I just wanted was dry and it's not wet. Eric Idle's not dead yet, is he? Eric Idle is spinning on a stage somewhere doing Monty Python skits still. It's wonderful. Him and John Gleese. No, not really. I'm used to it. Nobody's ever loved me. So my mom abandoned me at birth. Little shells everywhere up here. Well, that's the fastest speed there is. From that bow in your field, very slowly it's cure. Amazingly unlikely it is your life. on the wind.
surprised there's not a single surfer. Bless you. I'll make a video later tonight showing you eating pizza. it much or not they still bill you for it if it's turned on <laughs> i barely use the electricity either but i still get a bill every month I got moving, it was fine. I just got to keep them limber, mobile. Come bring me a volleyball and somebody else to play with. A dog or something. For $200, I will go back and walk to the middle of that little lake thing that, that, that's been created from the waves coming up. That would probably only go up about as, far, as far as my shin. I never go in the ocean. I'm actually terrified of drowning. 
nightmares sometimes of drowning. Like, if I'm under a lot of stress, I'll have nightmares of drowning. I was dating a guy once, and the entire time we dated, every night I had nightmares and I was uh, drowning. For a while, I thought for sure he was suffocating in his sleep or something. Still might have. He was an asshole. Only 40? Shit. Those are weakling numbers. I've had thousands of people hating me and laughing at me. It's my life. I can get off this fucking sand, man. What do my footprints look like? I got no footprint, what the fuck? My, the bottom of my feet say bear paw, but it's not showing up in the sand. Sorry. had this whole thing and he decided to hit, yell at us for being on the sidewalk. Like, I didn't realize I was only an hour from Real Water State Beach. I believe that that's where Murphy's Ranch is. Wasn't that where I started out to go to Murphy's Ranch before? Uh, I think it was. That's good to know. Because I had to take like three buses to get to Murphy's Watch last time. Well, I've got the ten dollars for my pizza tonight. I guess I don't really need to collect cans now. I've already got the weed. I've gotten in my bag. I've gone over an hour without getting it, but I've got it. Terrible always, anyway. What's it matter? I got big things time for twenty. I have a uh, ticket to the zoo for January. I'm hoping it's not going to rain me out. Anyway, I need to go. The last time I got a ticket, I didn't go because it was way too hot. There's no way it's going to be way too hot. It might rain. I will go 
still see the elephant break. I just can't do it if I'm gonna die of heat stroke. Gotta promise not to stop when I say you win. It's hard to have remorse for something you can't remember. That's what I keep telling you people. I was, if I did anything, it was during a blackout that I can't remember. And it's hard to have remorse for something you literally don't remember. I remember what I remember. And it's not what y'all are saying. But I'm, I have, I'm schizoaffective. I have delusions. I have psychosis. I have blackouts. And I don't know what happens during them. And there's no amount of browbeating that's going to make me remember what happened during a psychotic blackout. Um, no, but they wanted to try hypnosis on me at one point and my mom freaked out. My mom panicked because the ther- the uh, I did a bunch of different therapies in Florida. I did uh, EMDR, and after the EMDR sessions, they wanted to try to do hypnosis. And I came, I, I talked to my grandmother and my mother about it because my mom was living with us at that time. And like the second I said that they wanted to try to hypnotize me, my mom fucking lost her mind because she was afraid that I would start talking about things from my childhood that I had blacked out and so we didn't go through we didn't do the hypnosis because it was causing too much stress on the family the idea of me remembering things was causing too much stress on my mother I guess now she's dead it doesn't matter I could do it but it's been so long now it doesn't matter anymore you know How do you remember things from when you were in a coma? Are you sure you remember your coma or you don't just remember like the visions that you had during the coma? Because a coma is kind of like being asleep. So how do you know the things that you're remembering were, like, fully real? Maybe I just don't understand how comas work. I understand how blackouts work because I've had them, but I've never been in a coma. Well, I can't, I don't, I have been in a coma, but I was so young. 
I have zero memories of that. Because I had a seizure that put me in a coma when I was five and had I had a massive memory loss from it. They thought I would be brain damaged. Maybe I am. They never had me recheck to see. <laughs> With my family, there's no fucking telling what they would have found if they had had me checked out when I was a kid. Well, I believe I did answer. I don't understand how you how you remember comas. That doesn't make sense to me. But when you become schizophrenic and have a have a blackout, you can tell me whether you remember what happens during the blackout, and then you can answer your question. All you have to do is become schizophrenic and have a blackout, and then you can answer all of the questions we need to know. It's easy. At least it was for me. Like, there's, there's so much misinformation going out about me. People don't know what my diagnosis is. They don't know that I'm medicated. They don't know that I'm getting help. They don't know how much better I'm doing now than just five years ago. But I am. I know I'm still a train wreck, but that's... I'm not a flaming train wreck anymore. I'm just kind of a capsized one. I'm still working on picking up the debris. Get my trolley rolling again. Is there a bathroom right here? I think there is. So I'm going to end the live because I got to pee. And then I'll start another live. Unless somebody wants to send me 20 bucks to watch me pee. I'm not doing that. I mean, I'll leave the camera on, but have it turned around. <laughs> yes, the bathroom is very convenient because I feel like I've been walking for a long time. <laughs> hey, look, free shades. I'll be back in a few minutes.